Hey there, my name is Jacob Hofer, and the app I created is called Tile Game. It's just as it sounds a game about tiles, though it's a bit more complicated than that. When the game is loaded up, you, the player, are dropped into the world with nothing but the scenery around you. Your only goal is to explore the world and collect as many gems as possible. You can use the W, A, S, and D keys to move the player around, however there are a couple of tiles which you will not be able to walk on, such as stone or water. If you push down the spacebar, you can attack, and you can see the little character moves his arm to indicate this. Using this uh, skill, you can chop down trees, open chests, uh, and other things of the like. When you chop down trees, this grants you wood, which you can place around the world by clicking on a highlighted tile. You might want to be on the lookout for other treasure, as there are a few special items that allow you to do more damage to trees, which of course makes it easier to obtain wood. Oftentimes, you will find gems from chopping down trees, or just inside of chests. These are used as a way to show how far you've progressed, as in, the more gems you've collected, the further in the game you've gone. The purpose of this app is to be an enjoyable experience to play, and to entertain those using it. It is a simple game for people of any age, though younger people who are more used to the video game genre will definitely pick it up a lot faster. Its simplicity makes it very approachable, and the cartoony art will add to its family-friendly style. The entire app was coded inside of the C++ programming language, along with the SFML library to allow access to a graphics window and things like multi-threading. While developing, I faced many issues such as dealing with data that is being simultaneously accessed by multiple threads, or trying to implement optimizing algorithms so that I don't use up as much CPU power. Even some simple bugs to fix these took hours of tweaking to fix, which at times did prove to be incredibly frustrating. All of the code was written inside of Visual Studio just because of the amount of features that it has that makes coding easier. Overall, this game was a ton of fun to develop, and I plan to continue adding to it in the future.